Sunday morning. It's very early. And I'm on the train to get away. On my way back to Belfast. Holding things with two fingers is not the way forward. I'm just now on my way to Steve's. It's really quiet in time. I forgot, like, Belfast doesn't open up until about one o'clock on a Sunday. So, incredibly quiet. That's no bad thing. I'm gonna catch up with Steve. And we're gonna go grab some lunch. Which is good, because I'm starving. I'm gonna have the arm pulled off me with this bloody suitcase. Yes. Nice to be back. What sense of belonging. It's all good. Okay, that's cool. We found the Steven. Hello everybody. We're just out having pictures of Simon, or Luckett, he's not Simon, he's Stephen. We're playing with his new toy. I've got a new toy, I don't know how to use it, and pointing it in the right direction is proving to be a difficult <laughs> thing, so. The Go big on. end goes that way. Uh, uh, look at how the size of his lens. That's, that's my mantra for life. <laughs> it's just, follow the big end. <laughs> At least you said big end. Um, <laughs> yeah, sorry, no, impressively big end. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have, have to frame it so correctly. I know, I know. <gasps> like a don't. black wooden frame. Oh. Oh, that, it makes it weird. I'm going to stop. Yeah, we don't normally let them out. I'm very sorry. The sun has come out, so we're out taking all the pictures and possibly seeing if we can hunt down like Casey or Ben Brown or any of them happen to be kicking about. Hunting some YouTubers? Hunting YouTubers. <laughs> that could be a sport. Let's not make it a sport. You know. That would not be good. Yes. But yes. I never get some ice cream. It's gonna hit every fancy coffee shop in Belfast. They've gotta be hanging around one of those. It has to be an independent one. Yeah, oh it's yeah, absolutely. Enough. But yes, enjoying the heat, melting a wee bit actually. It's a bit too warm. I'm possibly gonna get some ice cream. Maybe you want ice cream. We doing ice cream. There is ice cream. a Nordic coffee shop up in Botanic that's open, which is really good. Um, but it's coffee and definitely not ice cream. No, but I'm so, sure they do ice coffee. I'm slightly addicted to ice coffee. I don't know if I understand them. Oh, you need to try them. The... I know, but, uh, okay. My arm's really sore, you see, this is why I was like, Steve, you need to hold the camera, but yeah, no good. Am I gonna hold the camera? You're gonna hold the camera. I'm gonna do this over here. Oh my God, Steve's vlogging. And I'm gonna keep try <laughs> trying not to cut her head off. That's it, that's it. It takes practice. Okay, I am incredibly distracted by this. The furry thing on the top. By the furry thing on the top, which I'm not prepared to say its name. <laughs> We're gonna go and investigate some Belfast. I was gonna say, right, let's go and investigate. Okay. Take pictures and video and stuff. Okay, we're gonna swoop in? Yes. Sweet. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Loud. Yesterday it was so much fun. We had a really nice potter about um, around Belfast. Went to some old haunts, uh, like where I used to live, Stranmelis, and a few bits and pieces like that. It's quite cool. And then we had a mini adventure of a night time because we thought, you know, we may as well go out and investigate to see if any of Kissy Neistat's or Ben Brown's are about. Because you never know. They weren't. 
but had really good fun playing with the cameras in the night time. Really nice. And then we ate all the crisps and dip. All the crisps and dip. We definitely had all the dip. You definitely had all the dip. I think you find you were hammering down that for this. Um, it was the, I like that you're not stopping me from eating the last of this. <laughs> I didn't want to get in your way. <laughs> That's because you had ate 70% of it. <laughs> okay. Um, but we had a really nice evening yesterday. Chilled out. We're a bit naked into bed actually. But mm. it was only because we were clapping. There was a lot of clapping. Yeah. Sharing of videos and people that were doing things and food sorts of stuff. Steve has just set up a time lapse to have a play with his shiny, shiny camera. Got myself new sunglasses. What do you think? Pretty cool. My other ones have died, the screw came out. But yes, we're just going to meet Kaya um, for a bit of lunch shortly and then we're off to the conference, which is very exciting. Don't think we're actually going to get to interact with Ben Brown or Casey Neistat or anything like that, but you know, you can hope and wish and fingers crossed. Um, but enjoying the beautiful weather. Beautiful, beautiful weather. Do you like my linen top? This is new and it will be coming up on a style post very soon so you can check that out over on my first channel. But yeah, I'm just gonna enjoy the sunshine and take it easy and eat some onion rings. I bought myself some. You can't get these over in England. Some of these. I've got two packets of those. So I'm gonna chill out, munch that, enjoy the view, which is Queens. It's a shame about the lure, you have the van and the you know the crane. But it's still nice. And there's the student union where we spent far too much time in our youth. In our youth? Jesus. What, 15 years ago? But that's it. We will catch up later on. Beautiful day. So we found this complete weirdo. <laughs> I'm fucking weird. Yeah. That's why it's my accent. That's how weird I am. Yeah, and then, I, you know, oh, oh. thankfully we found one normal one. So we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> it evens everything out. <laughs> Kaya, Jake. Why are you standing on both sides? I have to keep doing this, man. Yay! Hello, shiny camera. <laughs> they love my new camera. My key is I'm going to take you on a date. <laughs> not, not you guys, the Canon. You can take people on a date too if you like. Yes, they can come that's, with us. That's a lot of dinners to pay for. Yeah, no? that's true. KFC? Yeah, uh, let's go KFC! Get a big bucket! Ah. <laughs> you can get like lots of gravy for like uh, nothing. Oh, I love Do you guys like gravy? <laughs> I'm talking about gravy on a vlog. Yeah, so, yeah, weirdos. So guys, uh, Kate, if I could kick off with you. Um, obviously we've heard from Gary uh, that stress and that pressure of having you know, a really big hit and then worrying that maybe the content won't stack up to that at another time. Has that ever hit you? It's kind of a, uh, it happens every day for me where I'm, I do this character that everyone loves and I have so many followers because of that character, so I kind of have my character in, has me in a headlock. So I had a struggle every day where I, I don't have much freedom. Hello, hello. <laughs> is this thing on? <laughs> okay, trying to vlog and do this at the same time. The vlog knows it's the best. I can't do two things at once. <laughs> I'm just going to put this down. Okay. The camera. <laughs> I wasn't even on. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> I think first of all I wanted to say how amazing it is to see you in person. From this little window into your lives every day to have you actually here in Belfast. But it was full screen at this point. He watches on his TV, uh, you're fine. <laughs> it's small on my TV though. Yeah. Um, I guess the question is along the same lines is, with the pressure to daily vlogs, um, at a personal level, how do you gauge value? Um, or how do you judge the value of the, the content that you push forward and watching some of the random tier stuff that you've done? You know, how do you quantify that in the content that you push forward? And so every day for three to say, I'm getting something from this rather than just pandering to my How do I feel like you're getting something from it? No, no. you yourself. Or me. Yeah. Um, I think it's the satisfaction of hitting the live. Oh, video, I was going to ask a question. Um, every day, and that's like, after that happens, I can relax. And, and it's, um, there's something satisfying about. Uh, after a while, when you've been doing something for so long and consistently-ish, then to stop doing it, it feels so unnatural. So it's um, it kind of yeah, it just makes me relax when I've got a video out, and it's the, my favorite thing ever is to check back an hour after to see all like the hardcore brownies who are in there super early and 
and the whole Snapchat squad coming through. Oh, oh, but look at, look at, oh, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, Is this thing on? Mark is this a vlog? Mark you like my new shiny? I was seeing uh, under my drop, yeah. I dropped my mark, my first one down. Did you? Step, oh, look. Look. Yeah. It's not ideal. That's what I not ideal. Ideal. No, no, I dropped the first one of these. I had a Canon GX oh, and a chunk of the screen. Which one? How to get into it? Nice. Thank you. Thank you. You can't be nervous about your craft. If you don't think it's there yet, just try it out. If you look at a lot of these YouTube channels that first started, their first videos are not the best videos ever. They're just like, they put the content out there, they did what they were passionate about in a way that they liked to tell their story, and then people started liking it, and then they kept moving and kept moving. If you make the right decisions and have the right hustle, you can take that idea and turn it into something amazing. Holy crap, Epiphany, example, perfect example of this, what's inside? He wasn't like, I want to make this giant YouTube channel cutting things open and he had this like giant game plan. He was doing a project with his son that was really fun and they cut stuff open and people enjoyed it. So then they took it and they evolved from there. I don't know if I'm accurate here, but I'm guessing if you go on. Here we go, golf ball. You just got to lift it up and go straight down. Even linking it. So, I think you can Actually, a few days later, what day are we on? Thursday. And everything that went on in Belfast was amazing. It was absolutely amazing. And my breath, marching up a hill vlogging. I've done this before. I have been incredibly inspired. And Casey Neistat was just amazing to talk to. Not talk to, but to give the talk. I did ask him a question, he answered. I was very pleased with the answer kind of helped me make a decision that I had to make today, but more on that soon. Um, out of breath, so excited. Um, Sean Durris, that YouTube channel, you need to check him out. Possibly the most positive person ever. I mean ever. Think of Meg when you've seen her really excited to see someone. He's like that all the time. He wants to high five everybody. He's like, oh my God, this is epic. And it's just contagious. It's just fantastic. I got to meet Ben Brown. I felt a bit bad for Ben at the um, conference. Kind of felt like he hadn't been prepped. He was expecting a Q&A when he should have given a talk followed by a Q&A. And that kind of didn't happen. So I felt a bit bad for him. But got to meet him afterwards, as you've seen. But I got distracted talking to Nicole. I think Ben just completely disengaged. I was like, no, oh, sorry. The, these things happen. Um, what else? I am in such a good mood. 
such a good mood because of decisions I've made. I really want to share it with you, but I have to wait two weeks. So it will be very soon. It will be very exciting. And you are going to come on a hell of a journey with me very soon. <laughs> so oh, I can't believe it. Anyway, what else? Oh, today I had the best facial. I um, don't know if you can see. You know up here I always had like this big thing of freckles, like they're all one big thing. If you notice this, like a whole space with no freckles. Um, that was down to the facial. Yeah, so impressive. But also my skin just feels amazing. I know coming out of facial sometimes you can feel a bit... I don't want to say hot and bothered, but you know that kind of feeling where your skin's almost raw, not raw. Can't describe it right, but you kind of feel a bit like you've been through a facial. It's very relaxing and everything, but your skin feels very fresh, I guess. Whereas this just feels so lovely and plump and soft and calm and fabulous. I've done a thing all about it over on my first channel, so you can check that out. But that would be up actually after this, so keep your eyes out for it. Anyway, another excitement. The reason I'm out walking on this beautiful afternoon or evening, I should say. I'm off to meet Joe and Meg. So excited. Haven't seen the Meg nut in like a week. And Sonia, just for you, I'm going to put in footage. The hooligans. I forgot to link them when I posted last week. I linked them like a day or so later. But go check her out. Legend. Anyway, I'm going to go on. Overexcited. Overheating. <laughs> Beautiful, glorious evening.